Ever wondered if that old penny in your drawer could be worth a fortune? Today, we're diving into the top five most valuable Lincoln wheat pennies that could turn your pocket change into big bucks. Stick around, you might be holding a treasure. 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny History and Design The Lincoln Wheat Penny, designed by Victor David Brenner, was first minted in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The 1940 edition, like others, features the classic design Lincoln's profile on the obverse and two wheat stalks framing the words one cent on the reverse. By 1940, the United States was emerging from the Great Depression and on the brink of World War II. The production of these pennies was part of an era that marked significant change and challenges in American history. These coins are a snapshot of the time, serving as both currency and historical artifact. In 1940, the Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia no mint mark, Denver marked with a D, and San Francisco marked with an S. Each mint produced millions of these coins, but there are subtle differences in quality and rarity depending on where they were struck. Philadelphia mint over 586 million pennies were produced here, making it the most common of the three. Denver mint produced about 81 million pennies, slightly scarcer than Philadelphia. San Francisco Mint with around 112 million coins minted. These pennies are often more sought after by collectors due to their relative rarity. So how much is a 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny worth today? The value of these coins varies significantly based on their condition and mint mark. Circulated condition, a typical 1940 penny from the Philadelphia Mint in circulated condition is worth around $0.15 to $0.50. Uncirculated condition, if you've got one in uncirculated or mint condition, it could fetch between $3 to $10 or more, especially if it's a high-grade specimen. Key varieties, the S mint mark pennies can be more valuable, with uncirculated coins going for up to $20 in the right market. But that's not all. If you come across any errors or unique variations, the value could skyrocket. Error coins, such as double dies or off-center strikes, are highly sought after by collectors and can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Why is the 1940 Lincoln Wheat Penny so valued by collectors? Besides its age and historical significance, this penny represents a pivotal time in U.S. history. It's a connection to the past, a symbol of endurance through difficult times, and a piece of art in its own right. Moreover, the simplicity and elegance of Brenner's design have made the Lincoln Wheat Penny a favorite among numismatists. Its availability in various grades makes it accessible for beginners while still offering a challenge to those seeking the finest examples. 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny The Lincoln Wheat Penny was first minted in 1909, commemorating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It was the first U.S. coin to feature a real person's likeness and was designed by Victor David Brenner. The coin's reverse featured two wheat stalks symbolizing America's agricultural history, thus the name Wheat Penny, the 1948 edition, is part of a long-running series that spanned from 1909 to 1958. By 1948, the country was emerging from the aftermath of World War II, and coins like this one were part of everyday life for millions of Americans. The 1948 Wheat Penny was struck at 3 U.S. Mint's Philadelphia no mint mark, Denver mark D, and San Francisco mark S. Let's talk specifics. The 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny is composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc, weighing 3.11 grams. Here's a quick look at the mintage numbers for each mint location. Philadelphia no mint mark, over 317 million coins minted. Denver D mint mark, over 172 million coins minted. San Francisco S mint mark, over 81 million coins minted. The large mintage numbers mean that the 1948 penny isn't rare in terms of sheer quantity, but its value can vary widely depending on its condition and mint mark. Now let's get to what you're probably most curious about how much is the 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny worth today? The value of your coin depends heavily on its condition or grade as well as the mint mark. In circulated condition, which means the coin has visible wear, the 1948 penny typically ranges from 3 to 10 cents. In uncirculated condition, prices start around $1 to $5 for common examples. Higher grade uncirculated coins like MS65 or MS66 can fetch up to $20 to $50 or more, especially if they have the S mint mark. Red pennies, those that still retain their original copper color, can be particularly valuable with pristine examples exceeding $100 or more. The S mint mark coins from San Francisco are often more sought after than their Philadelphia and Denver counterparts due to their lower mintage. However, even among these, condition is key. A coin with sharp details, minimal wear, and strong luster will always command a premium. Be sure to keep an eye out for error coins, which can be quite valuable. Some known errors for the 1948 penny include off-center strikes, double dies, and repunched mint marks. Depending on the severity and rarity of the error, these coins can be worth significantly more, sometimes hundreds of dollars. So there you have it, a complete breakdown of the 1948 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Whether you're a collector or just stumbled across one of these in your pocket change, this little piece of history holds more than just face value. 
Don't forget to check the condition and mint mark to see if you're holding on to something special. 1936 Lincoln Wheat Penny. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, designed by Victor David Brenner, was first minted in 1909 and remained in circulation until 1958. The 1936 edition comes from the heart of the Great Depression era. For context, Franklin D. Roosevelt was president and the nation was recovering from economic hardship. This coin not only served as currency, but also as a symbol of resilience for millions of Americans during tough times. The year 1936 is particularly interesting because it was a time when coin collecting was gaining popularity, leading to increased interest in coins like the Lincoln Wheat Penny. Let's break down the design of this iconic coin. On the obverse front side, you'll find the familiar portrait of President Abraham Lincoln. The words in God we trust appear above his head, with liberty on the left and the year 1936 on the right. The reverse side features two wheat stalks on either side, hence the name Wheat Penny between them are the words one cent in the United States of America. Below this, you'll also find the motto E Pluribus Unum. Now here's where things get interesting. There are several variations of the 1936 penny, including the Philadelphia No Mint Mark, Denver D Mint Mark, and San Francisco S Mint Mark version. But the real treasures are the three different types of double die obverse DDO varieties, which we'll touch on in a bit. For coin collectors, what really gets people excited are the rare varieties and error coins. The 1936 Lincoln Wheat Penny has one of the most famous errors, the double die obverse DDO. This error happens when the die used to strike the coin shifts slightly, resulting in a doubling effect on the date. The word liberty or in God we trust collectors go wild for these kinds of errors because they're rare and can increase a coin's value significantly. The 1936 DDO penny has three recognized varieties, each with different levels of doubling. These coins are much scarcer than regular pennies, making them highly sought after in the numismatic community. So how many of these pennies were made? The mintages are as follows. Philadelphia Mint No Mint Mark approximately 309 million. Denver Mint D Mint Mark approximately 40 million. San Francisco Mint S Mint Mark approximately 29 million. While these numbers may seem high, keep in mind that many of these coins were lost, damaged, or melted down over the years, reducing the number of well-preserved examples available today. Now for the big question, what's the 1936 Lincoln Wheat Penny worth today? For a regular circulated penny, the value can range from 3 to 10 cents. However, if your coin is in better condition or uncirculated, it could fetch $1 to $5. But if you're lucky enough to have one of those double die obverse DDO pennies, you're in for a treat. Depending on the condition, these error coins can be worth anywhere from $50 to over $1,000. Graded specimens in higher grades can command premium prices. For example, a 1936 DDO penny graded MS65 by PCGS or NGC can reach prices upwards of $3,000 or more. If you're looking to add a 1936 Lincoln Wheat Penny to your collection, here are a few tips. Check for the DDO error. This is where the real value lies. Inspect the coin's condition. The better the grade, the higher the value. Look for mint marks. The Denver and San Francisco versions are usually worth more. Consider professional grading. If you believe you have a valuable coin, get it authenticated and graded by a reputable service like PCGS or NGC. The 1936 Lincoln Wheat Penny is more than just a piece of old change. It's a snapshot of American history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, this coin offers something for everyone. Who knows? That old penny sitting in your drawer could be worth more than you ever imagined. 1918 Lincoln Wheat Penny. The 1918 Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted during an important time in American history. World War I was coming to an end, and the nation was beginning to transition into the post-war era. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this penny had already been in circulation for almost a decade, but the 1918 edition carried the weight of a country in recovery. Interestingly, the early 1900s saw a large push for artistic and patriotic coin designs, and the Lincoln Wheat Penny was at the forefront of this movement. The coin features the image of President Abraham Lincoln to honor his legacy, making it the first regular issue U.S. coin to feature a president. Let's break down the design of this classic coin. On the obverse front, you'll see the iconic portrait of President Lincoln facing right. The phrase in God we trust is inscribed above his head with liberty on the left and the year 1918 on the right. The reverse side is where the wheat part comes in. Two wheat stalks around the words one cent in the United States of America with the Latin motto e pluribus unum placed underneath. There are three mint varieties for the 1918 Lincoln wheat. Philadelphia no mint mark. Denver D mint mark. San Francisco S mint mark. Each of these mint varieties has its own unique value range and the condition of the coin also plays a significant role in determining its worth. So how common is the 1918 Lincoln wheat penny? Let's look at the mintage numbers. Philadelphia Mint, no mint mark, 288 million. Denver Mint, D mint mark, 47 million. San Francisco Mint, S mint mark, 34 million. While these numbers seem high, finding these coins in well-preserved condition, especially the Denver and San Francisco versions, can be a challenge. Circulated coins are common, but high-grade examples are where the real value lies. 
Now, on to the big question. What's the 1918 Lincoln Wheat penny worth today? For a circulated 1918 penny in average condition. Philadelphia no mint mark around 15 to 50 cents. Denver D mint mark around 50 cents to $1.50. San Francisco S mint mark around $1 to $3. However, if your coin is in uncirculated condition with a high grade, the value can rise significantly. Philadelphia no mint mark up to $20 to $50. Denver D mint mark up to $75 or more. San Francisco S mint mark up to $100 or more. There are also some rare varieties and errors that can boost the value even further. Look out for repunched mint marks, RPMs, or die cracks that can increase a coin's desirability among collectors. Thinking of adding a 1918 Lincoln Wheat penny to your collection? Here are a few tips. Expect the condition even minor wear can drastically affect the coin's value. Check for rare mint marks. The DNS mint marks are generally more valuable, especially in higher grades. Look for errors, variations like RPMs or die cracks can make your coin stand out. Consider professional grading. If you believe you have a high-grade specimen, getting it certified by a service like PCGS or NGC can maximize its value. The 1918 Lincoln Wheat Penny is a fascinating piece of history capturing the spirit of a changing America. Whether you're holding on to one for its history or its potential value, it's always worth taking a closer look. You never know what treasure might be hiding in your collection. 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny The Lincoln Wheat Penny, first introduced in 1909, is one of America's most iconic coins. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the obverse features the famous portrait of President Abraham Lincoln. The reverse showcases the classic wheat ears, symbolizing America's agricultural roots. Now let's talk about the 1937 edition. This coin was minted in three locations, Philadelphia No Mint Mark, Denver D Mint Mark, and San Francisco S Mint Mark. This was during a time when the United States was slowly recovering from the Great Depression, and every penny mattered. Over 309 million of these coins were struck that year, with the Philadelphia Mint producing the largest quantity. Despite the high mintage, certain factors can make your 1937 penny stand out, especially in terms of value, varieties, and errors. When it comes to coin collecting, small details can mean big differences in value. The 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny has a few varieties and errors worth mentioning. Double die variety, keep an eye out for the 1937 double die error, especially on the obverse. If the date or the letters in Liberty or in God We Trust appear doubled, you might be holding onto a valuable coin. Off-center strike, off-center strikes are another error that can boost your penny's value. The more off-center, the rarer and more valuable the coin becomes. Die cracks and cuds, die cracks or cuds are also collectible. These errors appear as raised lines or blobs on the coin due to a broken die during minting. Grading and value. The value of a 1937 Lincoln wheat penny largely depends on its condition and any special characteristics. Let's break it down. Good G4 to very fine VF20. In circulated condition, a typical 1937 penny is usually worth around $0.05 to $0.20. Not much, but still a small piece of history. Extremely fine EF40 to about uncirculated at U50. In better condition, you're looking at a value of $0.50 to $2. Mint state MS60, MS65. A coin in uncirculated condition can fetch anywhere from $5 to $20 or more, especially if it has a strong strike and good eye appeal. Mint State MS66 and above. At this grade, the coin can be worth over $50 with top quality examples reaching into the hundreds, particularly for the Denver and San Francisco mint marks. Error coins or those with significant doubling can reach much higher values, sometimes in the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Here are a few tips if you're hunting for a 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny. Check for mint marks. Always check for the D Denver or S San Francisco mint marks. Coins from these mints tend to be more valuable than those from Philadelphia. Examine the condition higher grade coins are much more desirable. Look for pennies with minimal wear, strong details, and good luster. Be on the lookout for errors as we mentioned earlier. Errors like doubling or off-center strikes can significantly increase a penny's value. So there you have it, the full rundown on the 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny. It may be a common coin, but with a little knowledge, you might just find one that's worth a lot more than one cent. Whether you're collecting for fun, history, or investment, the 1937 Penny is definitely a 1962 one cent. Here it is, the 1962 one cent coin, also known as the Lincoln Penny. This coin is a fascinating example of mid 20th century American currency. Let's break down its history, design, and value. First, a bit of background the 1962 penny was minted during a period of economic stability in the United States. It's part of the series that began in 1909, commemorating Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday with the iconic Lincoln portrait on the obverse. This design, created by Victor David Brenner, has been a staple of American coinage for decades. 
On the front of the coin, we see the bust of President Abraham Lincoln facing right, the inscription in God we trust arches over his head, while Liberty in the year 1962 are inscribed to the left and right of his bust, respectively. Turning the coin over, we see the reverse design featuring the Lincoln Memorial. The inscription one cent is prominently displayed at the bottom, and the words United States of America are inscribed above. This design by Frank Gasparro replaced the earlier wheat penny reverse in 1959. Now, let's talk about value. In 1962, these pennies were made in large quantities with a total minage of around 1.5 billion coins. This high minage means that most 1962 pennies are not particularly rare. However, the condition of the coin greatly affects its value. Here's a quick guide to the value based on different grades. Circulated coins, if your 1962 penny is in average circulated condition, it's worth about one to two cents. Uncirculated coins, coins that have never been used in everyday transactions and are in mint condition can fetch around 10 to 20 cents. High grade proof, some 1962 pennies were struck as proof coins and can be worth more, typically ranging from a few dollars depending on their condition and certification. To determine the grade, you'll want to look for key details like the condition of Lincoln's portrait, the clarity of the inscriptions, and the overall cleanliness of the coin. Higher grade coins are rarer and more sought after by collectors. If you're interested in collecting 1962 pennies, here are a few tips. Check for errors. Some 1962 pennies have minor minting errors, which can be more valuable. Look for double dies or unusual variations. Preserve properly. Store your coins in a cool, dry place and use proper coin holders to avoid damage. Get expert opinions. If you think you have a rare or valuable coin, consider having it professionally graded. 1965 one cent. The 1965 one cent coin, also known as the Lincoln penny, was produced during a particularly interesting period in American coinage. As many of you might know, 1965 was a transitional year for U.S. currency. Let's dig into the history, design, and value of this particular coin. In the early 1960s, the United States faced a coin shortage crisis, which was driven by rising metal costs and a surge in demand. In response, the U.S. Mint decided to make some changes to the composition of its coins. For the one cent piece, this meant moving away from the traditional bronze alloy. Prior to 1965, the Lincoln penny was made from a bronze alloy consisting of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. However, due to the rising cost of copper, the mint transitioned to a new composition of 95% copper plated zinc. This change was reflected in the 1965 penny, which featured a copper plated zinc core. Visually, the 1965 penny looks very similar to its predecessors. The obverse features Abraham Lincoln's portrait, designed by Victor David Brenner, and the reverse displays the traditional wheat ears designed by the same artist. However, if you look closely, you'll notice a subtle difference in the composition and weight. The 1965 penny weighs about 2.5 grams, which is slightly less than the older bronze versions. Now let's talk about the value of the 1965 penny. Despite being a significant year in terms of coin composition changes, the 1965 one cent coin is not particularly rare. In fact, millions were produced, making it relatively common in the market today. As of now, a 1965 penny in average circulated condition is worth just about one cent its face value. However, if you have an uncirculated or pristine example, it might fetch a premium of a few dollars. The high-grade specimens or those with unique errors can be worth more, but these are relatively rare. The 1965 penny is a fascinating piece of history, not just because of its change in composition, but also because it represents a pivotal moment in American coinage. Collectors often find value in the historical context, even if the coin itself isn't particularly rare. Indeed, understanding the historical context of a coin adds a layer of appreciation that goes beyond its face value. So next time you find a 1965 penny in your pocket change, you can appreciate the little piece of history it represents. 1992 one cent. The 1992 one cent coin, commonly known as the Lincoln penny, is part of a long tradition of American coinage. Introduced in 1909 to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday, this coin features the 16th president of the United States on the obverse and a depiction of the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. However, the design did change over time. In 1959, the original design was replaced with the Lincoln Memorial reverse to mark the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. This design remained unchanged until 2009, when the penny celebrated Lincoln's bicentennial with a series of new reverses. But in 1992, we're still looking at the classic Lincoln Memorial design. Now let's talk about mint marks. The 1992 penny was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The Philadelphia mint mark is absent, but Denver coins have a D mint mark and San Francisco coins have an S. The vast majority of 1992 pennies you'll encounter will be from the Denver mint. So keep an eye out for those mint marks. One interesting fact is that 1992 saw a significant number of pennies being produced. In fact, the Denver Mint alone struck over 8 billion of these coins. So finding a 1992 penny in your change isn't too surprising. So what's the value of a 1992 penny? In general, 
Circulated 1992 pennies are worth just one cent their face value. However, if you have a coin in mint condition, especially if it's from the San Francisco mint with the S mark, it can be worth a bit more. Uncirculated examples can fetch anywhere from $1 to $5, depending on their condition and rarity. For collectors, the most valuable 1992 pennies are those with errors or unique characteristics. While the 1992 penny is not particularly rare or valuable in itself, looking out for minting errors or special varieties can make your coin collection more exciting. If you're lucky enough to have a 1992 penny you want to keep in pristine condition, here are a few tips. Always handle coins with care. Ideally, use gloves to prevent oils from your fingers from transferring to the coin. Store your pennies in a cool, dry place and consider using coin holders or holders to keep them safe from wear and tear. 1969 one cent. The 1969 one cent coin, often referred to as the 1969 penny, this coin is a classic example of U.S. currency that has captured the interest of collectors for decades. But what makes this penny special? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk about its basic details. The 1969 penny features the iconic Lincoln design by Victor David Brenner. On the obverse or front, you'll see a profile of Abraham Lincoln the 16th president of the United States. On the reverse or back is the familiar image of the Lincoln Memorial designed by Frank Gasparro. The 1969 penny was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Here's where things start to get interesting. The Philadelphia and Denver mints produced regular circulation coins, but the San Francisco mint struck proof coins, which are usually more pristine and intended for collectors. Now let's talk about the variations and what might make your 1969 penny worth more than its face value. The most notable of these is the 1969 S double die obverse. This rare variety occurs when the coin's die used to strike the coin has a doubling effect, causing the inscriptions on the obverse to appear doubled. Look for doubling on the letters of In God We Trust Liberty in the date. The 1969 S double die is highly sought after by collectors and can be worth a significant amount. In fact, depending on its condition and grading, this coin can fetch anywhere from a few hundred dollars to over one hundred thousand dollars. The regular 1969 pennies, those not featuring the double die, are still interesting but much less valuable. A typical 1969 penny in good condition is worth just a few cents. However, mint state or uncirculated versions might fetch a bit more, usually between $0.50 and $2.50. If you're checking your change or your coin collection for this penny, remember that condition plays a huge role in its value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, and the higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. Lastly, let's touch on the historical context of the 1969 penny. This was a year of significant historical events, the Apollo 11 moon moon landing, the Woodstock Music Festival, and political turbulence. It's always fun to think about the history and events that were happening when these coins were minted. 1973 one cent. The 1973 one cent coin, commonly known as the Lincoln penny, was minted in the United States during a period of change in the country's economic and political landscape. But what makes this coin special? Let's break it down. The 1970s were a time of transition in the U.S. marked by various significant events, including the end of the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal. The economy was also experiencing inflation, which had an impact on coinage and currency. The 1973 penny is part of the Lincoln Cent series, which began in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, the obverse features Lincoln's profile, while the reverse showcases the iconic Lincoln Memorial. On the obverse of the 1973 penny, You'll see Lincoln's bus facing right with the inscriptions Liberty and in God We Trust the reverse displays the Lincoln Memorial with the words One Cent and United States of America. This design remained largely unchanged from 1959 to 2008. In 1973, the U.S. Mint produced over 3.7 billion pennies, making it a common year for this coin. It was minted at both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints with the Denver version featuring a D-Mint mark. Now let's talk about the value. The 1973 One Cent coin is generally not considered rare or highly valuable in everyday transactions. Most are worth their face value one cent. However, if you're a collector, certain factors can affect its value. For example, coins in mint state condition or with specific errors can be worth more. Some 1973 pennies might have minor errors or variations that could make them more valuable to collectors. For instance, look out for doubling or misprints. Additionally, coins that have been well-preserved or are in uncirculated condition could fetch a premium price. To sum it up, while the 1973 one cent coin is not particularly rare or valuable in most cases, it's a great piece of American numismatic history. It reflects the design and production practices of its time and serves as a reminder of the era in which it was minted. 1978 one cent. The 1978 one cent coin, commonly known as the Lincoln penny. This coin features the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse or front side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse side. This design has been standard for the penny since 1959 celebrating the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. On the obverse, you'll find a profile of Abraham Lincoln which was designed by Victor David Brenner. This particular portrait of Lincoln is one of the most recognizable images in American numismatics. On the reverse side, we see the Lincoln Memorial designed by Frank Gasparro, 
This design was in use from 1959 until 2008 when it was replaced by the Union Shield design. The memorial represents Lincoln's legacy and has become a cherished symbol on the penny. Now let's talk about the value of the 1978 penny. For most collectors, this penny is considered a common coin. In terms of its numismatic value, a typical 1978 penny in average circulated condition is worth just its face value of one cent. However, the value can vary depending on the condition of the coin. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state. For a 1978 penny, here's what you might expect. Circulated condition, these coins usually don't command much above face value. You might be looking at around one to two cents depending on the market. In circulated condition, if you have a penny that's in mint condition without any wear and tear, it could be worth five to 10 cents or more. Proof coin special proof versions, which are struck with more care and usually have a mirror-like finish, might fetch a higher price, but not significantly. They might go for around 25 to 50 cents or more if they're in pristine condition. Keep in mind that market conditions can fluctuate, so it's always a good idea to check recent sales data if you're looking to buy or sell. To sum up, the 1978 one cent coin is a great example of American numismatic history. While it's not particularly rare or valuable in the grand scheme of things, it's a nice piece to have in your collection especially if you're interested in the history of American coinage. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about other coins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific coin you'd like us to cover next.